Today in this video, we're going to have a quick update on DFN. We're going to look at the price and uh, and the NAV. And the other thing we're going to look is uh, a dividend and distribution update. So if we look at DFN chart today, uh, November 7th, we look at DFN went down about 4.29, which uh, represent about 17 cents. It was at four dollars and it closed yesterday at 3.96 and 52 week range uh, was is 294 to eight dollars right so if we look at the dividend right now it's 32 so um so if you are an investor who is interested to buy this uh etf or this uh fund uh first important is to look at am i buying this fund on discount or am i buying this fund on premium which you pay more than why worth so today we're going to look at that uh, valuation and see if it's worth for you to buy this uh, fund right now or should you wait or what should you do so we look at the valuation i always give you update on this valuation um and if you want to know more about that just make sure you subscribe and because on this channel i always bring you update on the uh, fund not having anything related to pretty much your finance so uh, and if you like this content just give me a, a like we look at the valuation right now a uh, nav that we had was the update that we have for nav was october 31st 2023 and nav pre-distribution is 1387 uh, this is what we're looking at right now so if we look at the valuation right now so we always take class a share because this is split fund for people who don't know um so it's split fund i mean the, the preferred share and there's a class a share so preferred share always takes ten dollars so we take that ten dollars we give to pre, uh, class uh, preferred share and we only left we only left with a 387 that's the value of this um dividend 15 split corp uh class a share that we have or we investing in right so we did calculation to see how it is we did uh we take a 387 um divide by the value of the stock right now which is three um 79 and we minus one we times 100 we're getting about 2.8 11 percent so right now your uh, dfn right now is in discount about two two percent so it's not that much a discount but at least it's on discount you're not buying so when you buying today you're not buying on a uh, premium so you don't pay more for what it's worth so it's pretty uh, good that we see uh, today is on uh it's that getting that cheaper so right now it's cheaper because it's two percent cheaper than it was yesterday so that's a pretty good news so the other thing we're going to look is an update on distribution. As you know, I've made a lot of uh, distribution a history for DFN. So you know, DFN has been uh, hasn't paid dividend uh, for the past uh, three months because uh, when the fund NAV is below fifteen, as it is right now, they do not pay dividends. So right now is um, you know thirteen point eighty seven. It has to go back to fifteen. Uh, dollars then it will start paying dividend or above 15 so we look at the history record is it going to break the record because the record of dfn that hasn't paid dividend i made a video check out the videos i made a, about the distribution history for this fund is he has a record of paying uh distribution uh, on on your left hand column right i'm looking right now this is class a share they've been paying dividends since um april 4th uh I mean, April 30th, 20, uh, 2004, they've been paying and there was no major cut from all that time. Even in market crash of 2008, you can see there was no cut of dividends. It's been paying straight up all the way, all the way, all the way the many, many years. You know, if we look all the scroll, scroll down. The only time they did cut, of course, was 2020 market crash of uh, COVID time. That was so they did pay in january that year they paid in february and then march that's when everything tanked all the stock market crashed it was in march um and then they didn't pay in march they didn't pay in april they did not pay in may and june market recovered and of course the nav went about 15 they start paying in june they paid in july they paid in august they paid in september and October, for whatever reason, market was down, the fund was down, uh, and they didn't pay dividend for just that one month. And, of course, they uh, paid again in 2020 uh, in November, December, and 2021, every single month they did pay. Um, uh, fast forward to 2023, they paid until um, August, uh, no, until July. So July was the last dividend they paid, and then... 
So now we have August, they didn't pay, September, they didn't pay, and October, they didn't pay. So it's been three months. So my point in this video is just, um, are they going to break record? Because they haven't paid in three, uh, in three months uh, this, uh, this year of 2023. So that's almost coming to tie to a record of uh, a 2020 market crash where they didn't pay for three months. And of course, they reinstated and they pay uh, for another one month. So in in total, in 2020, they didn't pay uh, they didn't pay their dividend in, in you know for for four months or in four months out of that year, but uh, out of 12 months, uh, when it comes to 2023, they haven't paid uh, in three months out of 12 months, right? We're getting, and um. As we get into December, I don't see any prospect of them paying dividend for uh, November because the NAV is still low up to now, 13. So in November, they're going to pay. So are they going to pay in December? That's something to be seen, but I don't see that happening. So I think in 20, uh, 2023 will be the year uh, this DFA has broke the record that they, they won't pay uh, in August, uh, September, October, November, and December. That will be five months, and that will be the first time um the dfn hasn't paid uh, in five months in a row that'll be a uh, record breaking for this uh, fund but i'm gonna keep you updated on the um, you know dividend and the nav as we receive the update so just uh, in order for you to stay in the loop for this dfn dividend 15 split corp just make sure you subscribe and if you like this content just give me a like i think that's all for today i just want to give you um update on dfn dividend 15 split corp and we cover the valuation of this and also we cover the history and prospect of them paying dividend in the future so that's all for today till we meet again on the next video which is coming very soon as usual bye bye